this video we're going to talk about symbols just real quick um, and how to use them. So I'm going to show you I've got a metal thimble here and it's just a regular one. Um, it's got all the little indents on the bottom to catch the needle as well as on the sides of the thimble. It has a decorative little stitch and then it's got all the indents along the top. So no matter how you place it on your finger, it's um, going to do its job, either on the tip or on the side. Um, you want to put it on your middle finger. You can put a rubber thimble on your pointy finger. Um, and that would be for... So I've got a rubber one right here. It's got a little hole at the top and a couple holes on the bottom so your finger doesn't sweat and get stuck and suctioned in there. So you use this one to push the needle through the fabric and then this one you can use to pull the needle out of the fabric. Um, if you've got a lot of bulk and stuff this one comes really in handy because it wears down the tip and makes your fingers sore. Um, you wouldn't realize it but it does. So anyways I thought I'd show you just how to make a stitch with uh, using your thimble. So um, let's get this ready here. You're going to want to pinch um, pinch the needle with your index and your thumb. And then what's going to happen is your needle is going to be um, placed so it's hitting that thimble. So you pinch with your finger and your thumb, your index finger and your thumb, and then you can place the needle on the side of the thimble, like so or you can place it at the tip. So you're just going to have to mess around with your placement and find what's comfortable for you when you um, stitch. Um, so you're going to take your needle and you're going to start it in the down position and come up. And then once you get it going, get it started, you can then start using your thimble on it. Sometimes I just hold it with my thumb and thimble and go up and down and make the rocking motion. You want to pay attention to your spacing. Obviously I'm not, so that it doesn't look good. Then when you're there, um, you've got enough stitches on your, on your uh, needle, then you're going to push, continue to push the um, needle with your thimble and pull it out. And then again, grip it with your rubber thimble and then um, start over. So I'll show you one more time. And you get it started. And then your thimble is actually the one pushing the needle back and forth and then push it all the way through. And then you can grab it. And of course I've got a little knot there. I can't find my needle. And then start at the correct spacing. I usually have my uh, left hand or the non-dominant finger or hand underneath to help with um, moving the moving it as well. It's a lot easier when it's on a hoop and I've got a real project going, but this is just to give you an idea of how that works using a thimble when you are quilting or um, hand stitching.